My name is David Cash. I'm a senior manager here at Cookmar and Polson, and the majority of my time is dealt with 401k plans and third-party administration services related to those 401k plans. At Cookmar and Polson, we take the approach that our jobs are to help our clients be in a better financial position than they would be if we weren't there to help. Part of this may involve retirement planning for you and or your employees. Um, and with that in mind, we do have a third party administration section of our firm where we work on various aspects of 401k plans. Now you may ask, what, what is a TPA? What, what, what is a third party administration, administrator of a 401k plan? Typically, a, a TPA's role is to monitor and review changes in, in pension 401k law changes, um, assist the plan sponsor in design issues, act as an intermediary between the plan sponsor and the record keeper. The record keeper is generally the company that maintains the assets of the plan, the custodian of the plan's assets. Um, we also assist with the preparation of the annual filings with the Department of Labor, the 5500 series, as well as preparing summary plan descriptions of the plan and summary annual reports, which both of those documents need to be distributed to plan participants and beneficiaries in the case uh, of a participant passing on. Um, TPA also helps with the testing of the plan, the discrimination testing as well as helping to allocate the any profit sharing allocations or matching amounts, basically any employer contributions, we help with that allocation. We also help with the accounting of the plan to make sure that everything that, that should go in the plan is in the plan and that it's allocated the correct accounts and the correct places in the accounts. For instance, if an employee defers Roth deferral money into the plan after tax money and it gets deposited into pre-tax source, if that's not corrected, then when the employee retires, takes money out of the plan, they're going to be taxed twice on that once when it was contributed as Roth money and again when they take it out as pre-tax money because the record keeper, the custodian of the assets, won't know that it's supposed to be Roth money. And so we help to um, look at those things and help you as a plan sponsor to administer your plan to stay in compliance with the myriad of Department of Labor and Internal Revenue Service rules and regulations. At Cook Martin Polson, we take being qualified to do these things very seriously. Um, in fact, our, our TPA section of our business is staffed by an attorney, CPAs, and paraprofessionals. Um, we also have membership in ASPA, which is the American Society of Pension Professionals and Actuaries, as well as NIPA, which is the National Institute of Pension Administrators. And we maintain those memberships for a couple of reasons. One, to show our devotion, our, our implementation of the bodies that, that help practitioners in this area to, so that we can keep up on the current regulations and to have those national associations working on our behalf for legislation that is beneficial to you as a plan sponsor as well as to the employees. We realize there are many reasons why a company may want to start a 401k plan. It may be as simple as, as the employer wants to get some money into his or her own retirement account and the limits provided by IRAs just aren't enough. Um, it could be through an altruistic sense of wanting to provide retirement benefits to employees um, with the understanding that relying wholly on Social Security may not be the best course of action for employers or employees in order to save enough for retirement. As such, we take a lot of effort to talk with sponsors to figure out why they, why they are considering 
sponsoring or starting a 401k plan, as well as what their goals are. These are very important because the goals that somebody has tie directly to what type of plan design somebody wants. If somebody wants to mainly look after their employees, um, it's easy to say, okay, let's set up a plan that someone can enter on the first day of hire. If an employer is setting it up mainly so that they can put in what they want um, as well as benefiting their employees, then maybe we say or suggest that they do something such as a one-year waiting period um, so that an employee has to be there a year before they are able to end the plan. And then maybe we'll suggest a safe harbor component on that where the employer promises to give the employees X amount of fully vested money that is theirs to use once they take it out of the plan, once they meet those requirements to remove the money from the plan. In return, the owner of the company can put in the the minimum or the maximum amounts allowed by the IRS in order to help them meet their retirement goals. Along with the plan design features that, that we offer, we also work with a number of record keepers. Many of those are names that, that you would commonly associate with retirement plans, such as John Hancock, Lincoln Financial Group, Aspire Financial Services, Mass Mutual Financial Group, Principal, um, Transamerica, um, ePlan Services, Aspire, Guardian, Securian. Um, there are a number of companies that we work with where we can reduce the administrative burden that you as a plan sponsor may have. The other thing that we look at is, is plan size and what size plans we're capable of working with. Currently we have plans everywhere from one participant plans to plans with over 5,000 participants. Most plans we work with are between 50 and 150 or 200 employees or participants in the plan but we can work with all sizes of plans and we can change the scope of our engagement depending on what's needed. Thank you and God bless America.